Greetings, fellow detectives. Wizard Kitten here, bringing you part 14 in our walkthrough for Nancy Drew, Tomb of the Lost Queen. We now have both parts that we need to get into the trunk in Lily's little cot area. These numbers should help. Let's see if I can open it now. Let's see indeed. Okay, so we put both of the overlays over. And now we need to fill it in so that there's a right amount of numbers for each color. But they can't um, be in a weird shape like that. It has to be all horizontal or all vertical. So I know for example that that is incorrect. Um, that probably has to be like that and then maybe like six like that. And then perhaps three. This probably has to be like that, honestly. Two, 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 four, maybe three and two. And then maybe one, two, three, four, five, six would work. Hmm. I don't know about that actually. How do you like delete? Maybe just overlap them. Because, hmm. I feel like the five has to go there. Because it can't go vertically. And you can't do like a, a square or something. So then the four has to go like that. That probably has to go like that. Six, maybe. And then maybe this is like eight. And what if this were six? Six. What if this was four? No. What if this was three and two? And maybe six? No, because then that's not filled in and we can't do that four. So six makes a lot of sense. Four makes a lot of sense. Three makes a lot of sense. Three, two, no. Two, two, three, four, no, no, hmm, that could work, but then this is all weird. and then maybe six. That kind of works. Four, six. No. Because then this four doesn't work. Seven is a weird one. See, that has to be vertical, right? Four, five, six, seven. That has to be like that. It makes a lot of sense for the eight to be a pretty big vert. What if we did one, two, three, four, five, six? And then eight is like this big vertical chunk. That's four. And that'd be two. Then that wouldn't cover that up. So what if that's four? <sighs> See, that's nine, so that doesn't work. Four. Two. Four. Hmm. How do we do this? Eight. Four, maybe four and three, three, six, two, six, four. I feel like I'm super close. 
three. Like, I have the right numbers, but it's not... Oh, wait. Two. Four. Four. Three. And six. Did it. Yeah. What? Why would Lily have this? Wondrous snakes of the world. Egyptian cobra. Because she put an Egyptian cobra in your bed, Nancy. Slithering Snakes Reptile Emporium. Yep, she totally did it. Dear Bianca, I made it. I am finally and officially on my very first Egyptian dig. After all those years we spent slaving away in the archaeology department, to no avail, I might add, who would have thought that one small deal would get me where I was destined to be? I can't believe I didn't think of it before. So simple, really, and it didn't cost me a thing. Well, nothing that anyone will ever find out about. At least you... Well, wait, blah, 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 blah. Well, nothing that anyone will ever find out about, at least. You need to try the same and get on your dream dig in Greece, reference to Labyrinth and Lies, then we'll only be a sea apart. The two coolest, most renowned archaeologists in the world together, almost again. I know you were worried about my doing this, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Miss you lots, Lily. To Bianca in Kingston University. What is Lily up to? Ooh, okay. This is the order. And she definitely took it from John's notes. Rebirth precedes happiness. The three truths follow the light of Rhea Tomb and water flows at the end. Happiness before Rhea Tomb. So the order is probably rebirth precedes happiness. The three truths follow the light of Rhea Tomb. So then it's probably Rhea Tomb and then the three truths and then water. And happiness is before Rhea Tomb. Yeah, so rebirth, happiness, Rhea Tomb, three truths, water. What's happening? I'd better take shelter in the tomb. This storm is intense. Yikes. That's not good. Eek! Whoa. Sandstorm. Sandstorm. Go under. Go under. Much better. Whoa! <laughs> okay, we'll stay down here. Let's go now to the gold coffin. Everyone is out and about, apparently going to go in here and I think we know the order now so rebirth which I think is the onk if I combine what Lily said with John's notes I should be able to figure this out and then the falcon is happiness and then Rhea tomb is the eye of Horus then there's three dots for the three truths and then the house of water <gasps> I think we did it never Tari it's gotta be and just what do you think you are doing? Lily? Lily? Is that you? What are you doing? Were you following me? This whole thing with the curse. It was you. No, it wasn't. Dylan is in the hospital because of you. It wasn't supposed to happen. I just wanted him to leave. Why? I can't say. I'm not going to say. What do you mean you can't say? Is someone helping you? Even if I wanted to tell you, there's nothing you could do. Lily, look out! Ah! Cave in! Are you okay in there? I'm still in here! Lily, are you okay? I'm fine! Okay, she's fine. Um, how do I get out? <laughs> Is the next question. And probably the more important question. Um, uh oh. <laughs> Stuck. There better be another way out. Um, Lily got trapped this way. I kind of want to... Oh! Lily! I'm fine! Whoa, she's really crapped in there. Jeez. Um, Jamila, can you help? Nancy, what's the matter? What happened? It's Lily. She's been caught in a cave-in. We need to get her help. This is no accident. Abdullah did this, didn't he? I don't know. I need to go get her help. But I don't want to leave her here with him. Let me help her. If Abdullah comes back, I'm ready for him. Take this signal box, go above, and call for help. I'll take care of Lily. Signal box? A key? 
Is there a second exit? Yes. Half the key to the order's hidden exit. They arrive on six feet or soaring wings with a howl or a bleat, the ancient reptile leading the way. Underneath a blazing sun, the jackal joins the mix of beasts that stand as one betwixt the sky and the underworld. Dressed in red, she is joined by the child. As the evening dew appears in the cat's footprints, they learn of knowledge. Drawn onward by the steadfast cow, a throne accompanied by hieroglyphs arrives before the balance of the mother. The what now? I can't just leave, Lily. And you can't help her by staying. Go, call for help. If you see Abdullah, run. Good to know, I guess. Okay. Don't. <laughs> okay, so we need to go... I think it's down this tunnel, right? This is the secret passageway, I think. Okay, this must be our key. Okay. So this is another... Stuck! Oh, there must be a way I can make it to that door! Okay, so there's four, like, panels. I need to find the correct head. And then half the key to the order's hidden exit. They arrive on six feet or soaring wings with a howl or a bleat, the ancient reptile leading the way. And I think you have three tries to actually get it right. Did that. So they arrive on six feet or soaring wings with a howl or a bleat, the ancient reptile leading the way. A scarab? Because that has six feet and wings. With a howl or a bleat, the ancient reptile leading away. They arrive on... With a howl or a bleat. That's so confusing. With a howl or a bleat, which would be like a wolf and a sheep. But none of those. Man with a head of a jackal, maybe? Anubis is maybe howling because it's a jackal? Man with a scarab as a head would maybe be Kepri. Maybe try the scarab because they arrive on six feet. Oh, okay, Whoa. that didn't work. I better not make any mistakes. Yeah, clearly. Okay. Half the key to the order's hidden exit. Underneath a blazing sun, the jackal joins the mix of beasts that stand as one betwixt the sky and the underworld. Dressed in red, she is joined by the child. As the evening dew appears in the cat's footprints, they learn of knowledge. How do we know which half of the key? Drawn onward by the steadfast cow, a throne accompanied by hieroglyphs arrives before the balance of the mother. The ancient reptile would be like a crocodile. Is it the crocodile? Okay, so the ancient reptile leading the way. So is it the second half of each riddle that's the one we want? Underneath a blazing sun, the jackal joins the mix of beasts that stand as one betwixt the sky and the underworld. So is it the jackal? Nope. Yeah, I think we only get um, three chances. The mix of beasts that stand as one betwixt the sky and the underworld. So the only one that stands betwixt is not the falcon, because that would be the sky. The mix of beasts that stand. So like, that? Whoa! <laughs> I've never understood this puzzle. Gravity is responsible for keeping everyone on Earth from flying off into the frozen void of outer space. So I guess your complaints about it killing you seem pretty selfish right about now. It wouldn't be selfish if the puzzle Stuck. actually made oh, there sense. There must be a way I can make it to that door. Okay, there's like also the journal entry, I feel like, that has something to do with this. Five stand guard at each pass, four false, one true. Oh, this probably helps. Okay, I'm writing this down. The first... The first truth is last. First truth 
is last. The second is fourth. Second is fourth. The third is third. Third is third. And the fourth is first. So they're in opposite orders. So that makes sense. Each different part of the riddle is telling me a different... I need to find the correct head. A different um, animal. So they arrive on six feet or soaring wings. That would be a scarab or a falcon with a howl or a bleat. And then the ancient reptile leading the way. So the last thing in that is the ancient reptile, which is the crocodile. Okay. Makes sense. So now on this next one, it's the fourth animal that um, is the answer. So underneath a blazing sun, which would be that one probably, not that, the jackal, that one, that would be two, joins the mix of beasts that stand as one betwixt the sky and the underworld. So which one is the underworld? Um, a mummified man holding a crook and a frail. So probably him is the underworld. And I need some, the mix of beasts that stand as one betwixt the sky and the underworld. So I think I need a falcon. Is it this one? I was right, yeah. Okay, so it's the falcon. But without the sun, without the blazing sun. Okay, so the third one is the third animal in the riddle. Dressed in red, so probably not that one. She is joined by the child. Which one is the child? Is there anyone that like is children? She's joined by the child. Childbirth, protector of women and children, is Towerette, which is a mix of body parts, hippo, lion, crocodile, or woman. Hippo, lion, crocodile, or woman. Okay, but it's a mix of body parts. So these are all lions, I think. So maybe this one is the second one? As the evening dew appears in the cat's footprints, they learn of knowledge. As the evening dew appears in the cat's footprints. The evening dew. Is there one that's like rain? Or do sky magic sunshine truth underworld sun war chaos water man with a crocodile head moisture woman with a lion's head which one of these is considered a lion this one because it's like <laughs> that one <laughs> I, fi I finally know the meaning behind this puzzle. That makes me so happy that I actually now understand this. Because usually I just guess. But I'm so happy that I actually know what's going on now. That It feels so good. It feels so nice to get to know That's that. That's done. Okay. So now the very first thing in this riddle. Drawn onward by the steadfast cow. A throne accompanied by hieroglyphs arrives before the balance of the mother. So a steadfast cow. So we need to figure out which one of these is the cow. Woman with cow. Woman with lion head, ibis. Woman with cow, Hathor. Cow horns and sun disc. So this one, cow horns and a sun disc. Yes! Cow horns plus sun disc. Wow. I'm so happy. So happy that actually makes sense now. Love that. I love that for us. I love understanding things. Okay, we're gonna escape. Time to escape. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna get out of here. Uh-oh. Nancy, why do you look so frightened? The curse. It was you. Good. For once, I do not have to explain myself to you. Unless, of course, you can't figure out what happens now. You won't get away with this. No, no. I will get away. You will not. You should consider yourself lucky. 
You will have a beautiful tomb for all eternity. You'll have to catch me first. Okay, so we have a certain number of moves before Abdullah catches up to us. Um, but we basically rotate this to make a path. The stones come up from the floor when the colors match. Right. More platforms. If I can create a path to the other side fast enough, I'll be able to escape. So I need to figure out how to get to here. So I'm thinking like this blue line. You will not get away! I better not make any mistakes. Would be helpful. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, yellow. And then maybe blue. And then maybe white. And then red. Oh, did I do it? That looks like a path. I made it! I'm free! Leaving so soon? No, I'm not! <sighs> That's that. Now, come on, Nancy. I'm dying to see Nefertari. Dear Hannah, the police eventually arrived and arrested Abdullah. John suspects when his case goes to trial, we'll be learning a lot more about Abdullah's crimes against archaeology. If you ask me, ancient and modern Egypt will be much better without him. Lily was rescued from the tomb unharmed. She was initially taken into custody, but was released once Abdullah claimed full responsibility for everything that went wrong at the dig. I guess he really did believe she deserved a second chance. From what I hear, Lily is currently studying paleontology. I imagine she'll be happier in a career that doesn't involve daily contact with mummies. Dylan has nearly recovered, and will soon be resuming his tours of ancient Egypt. Hopefully he's had enough of the black market. Maybe I'll check in on one of his tours to see how he's doing. Jamila was wary when John returned to the site, but the two of them soon hit it off. John has promised to have Nefertari return to her rightful place beside Ramses II, and Jamila has been brought on to assist with the entire process. Jamila dropped her alien act and soon proved herself to be a skilled Egyptologist. I wouldn't be surprised if she and John end up working together for some time to come. Professor Hotchkiss has decided to revise her book to include our discovery of Nefertari's true tomb. I'm looking forward to reading it, just as much as I'm looking forward to her taking me off speed dial. As for me, I'm happy to have had an adventure and delighted to be headed home. There's nothing like the end of a mystery when all of the pieces fit together and everything is... And I just remembered I forgot to let the cobra go. Well, I'd better go take care of that. Guess I'll be getting home a little later than anticipated. Here's hoping that releasing an angry cobra isn't as much of a bad idea as it sounds. Love, Nancy. Skemet was the goddess of what? Or Sekhmet. Oh gosh, I have no idea. Uh, truth and balance. I have, I have no clue. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so these are all the possible awards that you can get. Which ones did we get? Egyptologist for being an erudite ancient world detective. Cool. Easter egg for finding hidden surprises. Lights out for trying to get a little light back. So I guess that's being good at lighting up the tombs, I guess. Scarab slide for spending time with insects. Cool. I guess that means we took too long to solve the puzzle. <laughs> and then translator hieroglyphs are cool for translating a lot of the hieroglyphs. But these are all of the other possible awards that you can get. And to get the trailer for our next game, since the um, interface has changed, we actually have to go to, oops, not more indie, extras. And we can now look at the teaser for the next game. Half scientist, half magician. Nikola Tesla's groundbreaking work electrified the modern world. More than 50 years after his death, many researchers would kill to solve the mysteries he left behind. Now it seems someone has. Days before a highly anticipated announcement, one of the world's top scientists was found dead. With the case now cold, it's up to me to bring the murderer to justice without becoming the next victim of the deadly device. Ooh, 
very exciting. So that will be the next walkthrough that we will do. Very excited for that one because it's the first murder mystery that Nancy has solved since Secrets Can Kill. So it's been a long time. But I sure hope that you enjoyed this interview. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to subscribe, like, comment, and hit that notification bell for more Nancy Drew content. And also keep an eye out for my review of Tomb of the Lost Queen. Thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon.